Hey everyone, Drew Casey here for Yankees On Demand, presented by AT&T, and we're hanging out inside the manager's office with Yankee skipper Joe Girardi. And Joe, let's take a look at where the team is now. You're leading the wild card race, chasing the Red Sox for the division. How would you assess the state of your team? Well, I, you know, we're in a position where everything is in front of us, and we're in control of our own destiny. I think that's what you want as, as a team. I mean, obviously, we have four important games coming up against the Red Sox. Every team that is really chasing us in the wild card, a lot of them we are playing um, the rest of the year. So everything is in front of us. What have you seen from Sonny Gray since he's come over in the trade, and what has he been able to do for this club? Well, I think he's pitched really well. We haven't scored a lot of runs for him. Um, that's been part of the problem. But I think he's given us a chance to win every game that he's pitched, and that's what you ask your starters to do. So he's very professional. He knows what he wants to do. He has very good stuff, and he's pitched well. The rotation has been through a lot with injuries, adversity. What's been the biggest challenge for you and Larry Rothschild in dealing with that rotation on a daily basis? Well, I think you have a couple of young kids in it you're trying to keep fresh throughout the whole season. You have some veteran guys that have some mileage and have had some physical problems that they've had to deal with. So it's really trying to keep the consistency with our guys. And, and we've been pretty fortunate when you think about, I think we've, we haven't used a ton of starters. You know, where some teams have used 16, 18, we have not done that. But there's been some challenges because we've had some new pitchers come over. So that's a challenge for the pitcher, but it's also a big challenge for the catcher to, to learn those pitchers and how they react in certain situations. And those are the things that we're dealing with. As for the bullpen, a lot of big names out there now. A couple guys have struggled as of late. Would you attribute that to fatigue or maybe just a bump in the road? And, and going down the stretch, how would you manage that? Well, I think it's more of a bump in the road. And I think the other thing that you know we rely on these guys a lot and, and they're in a lot of games and we, and we spread it out we spread the workload between them all and try to keep them all fresh but they're given a lot of opportunities to go through little slumps maybe more than some of the other teams that's why you see them struggle they're not going to be perfect but overall their numbers are really good and I'm going to bet on them. Aaron Judge has struggled a little bit in the second half decide to give him a few days off what do you hope that does for him well I think sometimes it can refresh a, a player uh, physically but it can also refresh him mentally and um, give him a little chance to step back and take a deep breath and instead of being in these you know huge games every day and you hope that it gets him going it gets him back locked in and being extremely productive Gary Sanchez has filled the void a bit slugging his way through August how important has he been well, it's important because you need a big bat in the middle of the order. And, and you know, we just got Starling Castro back, and Didi has done a great job in the middle of the order as well. But to have somebody with that type of power that can change the game in one swing is really important. You mentioned getting Castro back. How nice has it been to get him back and Greg Bird back in the line? Well, it's been great. You know, the thing is, it gives us a lot more depth. And, you know, as, as you get into the months of August and September and some of these tough games and long games, guys can use a blow here once in a while. And, and we're, we were in the midst of... Um, I believe it's 29 out of 30 days. And physically, that's really hard on the players this time of year. You mentioned the depth. Somebody at the beginning of the season who was expected to be part of that depth and has really played an extended role, Ronald Torres. What has he meant to this team in 2017? He has really excelled um, in the way that he's played and, and has been huge for us. You know, we covered it in for Didi when he got hurt, and he had a great month of April. You look at what he's done for Castro, hitting around 300, driving in important runs, playing solid defense. So he's been... He's been really important to our team. As everyone gets more and more healthy, still a couple of guys you want to get back. You'll have yourself with a couple of position players who are used to playing every day, but you won't, just won't be able to do that based on numbers. Is that is that a good problem to have? Oh, I think it is. And, and I think what helps is the guys have understand what the real goal is, and that's to win. And they've, you know, they've put their egos aside and come to work every day and, and basically say, we'll do whatever you want. And um, the, the, the biggest guy that has done that has been Chase Headley. He's... You know, he moved from third to first. Um, he's played some third again. Now he's DHing some, and he's whatever you need. And, he, and through this whole time, he's been extremely productive, more productive than maybe at any point during the season. So I give him a ton of credit, and I think he's the leader in this. And, and Jacoby Ellsbury stepped up as well. You know, his job was kind of taken over by Hicks a little bit, but he has been fabulous lately, and, and that's important because sometimes guys need a day. Stretch run coming up. You look at the last 17 games of the year, 14 of them are at home at Yankee Stadium. How much of an advantage do you hope that'll be? Well, I hope it's a huge advantage because, you know, for the most part, we play really well at home. You know, that's an important time of year, and, and we have one long road trip coming up and one short one. So, you know, you survive the long road trip and try to take advantage of all the home games we got, and if we're able to do that, we'll be in a pretty good spot. Joe, thanks very much. Best of luck down the stretch. Thank you.